Hello friends, in this video we learn shell script from a real example. Okay, this is the script I'm going to explain and uh, we will be writing this, we will be copying the script to our server and we will execute the results. Before that, what I will do is I will explain each part of this script. Okay. And this is the this is called shebang, and this is the start where this is actually an interpreter from bash. We will, we are starting the script. Okay, so this is just telling our script to use bash to execute. If you have Python program, you will be using the path of Python here. So it will that will be executed in Python. For shell, normally you don't need to specify this, but it is better to do uh, to do to make a shebang uh, in the beginning of the script. Okay, and here is how we declare variables in shell script. Okay, this is the host list. Host list. This is the variable name, and this is the value. And uh, what what I have here is my host lists are. This is a path to a file okay and host list is this this is string actually that will be called when we that will be ex uh, that will be called in in our functions coming uh, after this okay and checks this is the this is another variable which i have uh, actually i am separating using a space there are three variables i am declaring here this is the trick uh, actually we use uh, uh, for shell script for python it's uh, much better uh, in a different way okay and okay message here this is the message i will tell you what it has okay this is just echoing with uh, and uh, with a uh, with some options which which i this is a color color option okay so in th this means uh, this has a meaning that 32 m which means uh, some kind of color i think it's green and 31 m is uh, it will give you uh, the output in um, yellow or red color for 31 m for 32 m it's green color so okay means green and uh, not okay and okay which basically means not okay which is uh, we will be calling these variables uh, in in our coming functions so i'm just declaring these variables here this is how we va declare variables now let's uh, check this is the first function we use for this shell script this is the usage of uh, this is how we we use uh, we declare a function in a shell script this is the whole function okay and what it is this is the name of the function with uh, some braces here and it it will start with a uh, with a double brace and uh, close with uh, that and this there is only one command one or this is again a variable usage and which is basically this this uh, simple means it is executing a command inside for this variable this is the command okay and the command output will be saved in usage okay this is a very useful uh, useful script that you can use uh, um, in our day to day life okay what it is doing is check checking root of us from the definition it means checking root of us and what it is doing it's it's a df and hp in a in our root file system so so let's check uh, instead of uh, explaining this i will tell you what each part of this uh, this line okay first uh, we check df and hp on our machine this is android 7.2 and this is the one what we need from this is when we write uh, when we write a script and and we need to get some data first of all uh, what we need is we are actually checking root file system usage here so from this we, the most preferred data is this one how much percentage that root file system is using so we need to think um, think how we will get this okay we, we don't need any other than other things in this output than this that's what we are doing here so first what i'm doing here is um i'm removing the first line which start 
we don't need this line right we don't need this line we need only this line first so then we, we need only this data okay so first what i'm doing is um removing the first line now we have removed using grep hyphen v and start with this means start with file system okay now we have the we have removed one row okay that we don't need now what we do is we need to we need to get this i am using awk command okay awk here and printing the nf minus one nf minus one is nothing the last column last column is this one minus one which is which means the column what we need here okay if you execute this we get this data right and for if you want to try nf which is the last and if you want the first line which which means this line what we do we can do nf minus count one two three four five that is one way or what we can do is enough one okay this is also same one two three four like okay you can explore that what i'm doing here is we have done is we have filtered this value the value what we required okay now finally what we do is we are we don't need the percentage uh, because when we use if command or checking some calculations the percentage will be a problem so we don't need that so i'm deleting using the tr command tr translation and hyphen d for deleting the percentage okay now we have 73 okay so we got what we need from this command and this is the usage from one single command we we got the usage of uh, root file system which is 73 73 means 73 in percentage okay the, we close to this function and next we go to our second function which is checking memory memory of memory usage memory usage is not uh, so easy like what we did so what we have here is there are two three variables here one two three one is memory total we are finding what is the total memory and we are finding what is the used memory and using that we do some calculations to make the percentage and make the usage in percentage first we check memory total we use the command we split again we split this command first free hyphen m this is the command and for total what we need this is swap we don't need this which is any this field we don't this these two rows we don't need we need only this row where we have the total uh, value so we we grab out the first we grab for the first line okay earlier we grab out using hyphen b now we grab only the first line okay only second line so we have got the mem uh, line and from there this is the command what we already explained which is org the and um, we need the second column so this is the first column and this is the second column so we get v92 this is the total memory and this is saved as memory total so if you execute this command let's check that also and if you want to know the value of memory total we can use this we got it 92 192 mem total so that's what we have done here and the same thing we grab we filter for instead of two we three third field which is uh, the used memory so that also we saved here so mem used for 33 okay the, we, we got these two values now we need usage we have usage of uh, root file system here and we need usage of uh, memory here for that what i'm doing this is a this is basically a calculation calculation of uh, this value just check what it is okay this is echo i'm using scale 4 i'll tell you why what is the reason for that and here what we are using is dollar mem used is the memory used and dollar mem total is the total memory okay so i'm and uh, this is the this is the uh, I'm dividing used memory with total used memory with total memory and to make it in percentage I'm executing this is a mathematical calculation into 100 okay this is this this is what I'm 
going to redirect to BC. BC means binary calculator. This is a command in Linux. So, so we got this value. So why I use scale four? I will explain this. So if I remove the scale four, this is zero, which means by default the binary calculator binary calculator bc function will not take the fractions so the uh, if we check mem used and mem uh, echo mem used dollar mem used and dollar mem total see if it's a 40 432 divided by 9 9 um, 992 which is uh, basically zero okay and zero into uh, zero into 100 is again zero so it won't take any uh, fractions it will just take the first initial decimals okay so so that's why i'm using scale 4 so i'm telling uh, binary calculator to use scale equal to 4 you can make 5 or 10 whatever you want okay so we got the usage of memory which is 43.75 percentage now we have done this binary calculator now i'm using this cut hyphen d i will tell you why cut hyphen d which is 43 i'm rounding the value and um, what uh, what is cut function hyphen d for delimiter and uh, delimiter is dot and after in the after in the dot f1 is the first field first field means this is dot this is the first so before that it will be the first field and this is the second field if i execute f2 it will be the second part so it's uh, just logic okay so we got uh, we removed the decimal part and we need only the real values why i'm doing this is when we ch when we do the check using if command the decimal part will be uh, will create syntax problem so i'm doing that like that so we have closed this this function now we we check the final function which is a cpu check here also this is uh, i'm checking the stat file okay this is the stat file this is the easy way to check here also i'm using the uh, using the awk command and doing all other filters which which I, we, we have used uh, like cut and all okay here arc is something different which is uh, we, we th these values has been splitted like this so from this we need to calculate the usage of a cpu so dollar two and dollar four are the values and we are ca we are uh, counting it i'm um, sorry we are some we do we are doing some of this and into 100 and uh, then do divided by two four five so this is uh, basically this is the uh, if you know the uh, uh, proc stat uh, output really so it will be easy to understand so it's what we are doing is basically we are calculating um, the cpu usage okay i found this is the best way to uh, see cpu usage you can use this command directly okay so we have three functions here and here is our main function we, we have three sub functions and this is our main function this is the function which calls all other functions and make the logic okay we will be explaining this function main and here printf to print print a value if i execute this printf so it's just print what we have here this type slash t for tab and slash n for next line okay if i just uh, check remove it will be the same like next line there will not be any next line so i'm using this and if i remove t there will not be any tab in front so this, this is a nice way uh, we can format our output and here i use for loop two for loops okay first for host in cat temp host for term let's check what is uh, in term something is there in term host first we need to create a term host um you can execute this script on what uh, i will explain this okay first local host so what this script actually doing is it is going through a series of host hosts series of servers 
and executing uh, these these checks and gathering the data and check is there anything which is above 90% which is over usage of uh, CPU memory or file system that's what basically so it, it is doing and it is doing for a uh, you can do for n numbers a number of servers okay currently I don't have more servers I just do only on my remote host that's what I have here in host file so it's local host if you add IP of other host you can these checks will be running on other check other hosts and you will get a report of that host also okay so I'm going through the list of host declared in dump host I have only one host here so it will run the loop only for that host okay that's what I'm doing here for host in this host file do do is the what what we need to do if uh, it has it, it declared it detected a host here what we need to do that's what we are going to do is here so we print the host name so actually this uh, the, this is a variable and that variable is called here host is a variable that variable is called called here and doing some formatting here just uh, uh, some lines here and again there is one more for loop there are two for loops one for loop is uh, uh, gathering for host and second for loop is but we have declared in our variables here this is the checks okay we have three checks here one is root fs one is check mem memory one third one is cpu and for all these um, all these checks we have functions respective functions so we are calling basically this uh, this variable here this uh, checks in checks we have three right okay so uh, for check this is for check in checks okay for uh, this this loop will go through all three checks okay what we need to do for each check th this this is the dollar check dollar check means this check this will this will execute this check okay what is this check this check is our function okay this is how we call a function okay if you if you want to call a function of uh, if you want to call this function what we do we we just execute we just execute this uh, check underscore root underscore fs somewhere in the script okay then this this function will be called so that the, the so that's why i named like these names are same right these names the if the variable name and the function names all are same okay this is uh, we need to think a uh, bit when we write a script to make it uh, in such a way okay for check in checks i'm executing the function here basically i'm executing the function so once we executed the function what will happen we get value of for each function we have a variable called usage 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 so usage is everywhere so when we executed this function the, the for example i'm executing this function the usage uh, root fs function the usage means usage of uh, root file system when i execute this function usage means us usage of memory when I execute this function usage means usage of CPU so for each checks I'm executing these respective function and I'm checking usage here uh, we uh, suppose we have three three checks here and first check is root fs so uh, we execute the function root fs and here we check usage is greater than 90 which is basically checking whether the usage of uh, uh, root fs is greater than 90 or not if it is greater than 90 then print f the message is nok message what is nok message here dollar check dollar check is uh, the check name and nok message nok message we declared here which is nok which is a uh, nok in some colored format that's all i will uh, we, we will see when we execute this okay so for the first check which is root fs if it is greater than 90 then an ok message else check is ok message this ok message is again a variable here okay and we close if then 
else then fi we will close the if, if loop if check if statement and next what we do is we opened a for loop we we need to close that also okay we opened here and we closing here and we have one more for loop here for the host and we are closing here so this is the main logic of the script okay for each host for each check it is checking whether the usage of respective parameter crosses 90 or not that is what basically it is doing okay and this is some formatting report report and here echo 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 this means i need some space here okay i'm um, to to show some my custom messages okay and here if we stop here not, and when we execute the script nothing will happen because we didn't we this everything is in a function and we didn't call our main variable main function okay so while i'm just clearing the screen and executing the main function okay here is the this is the calling of we are calling the main function and main function will call in this loop we will call all other sub sub functions okay this is this is the best practice of writing scripts so using uh, limited number of lines we are doing some useful things here so what 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 it is uh, what it is actually we use uh, root of us function to check root file system status and uh, mem for memory status cpu for cpu status and all the logics are coming in the main function right so else each function the each uh, cpu usage we do some checks and memory usage we do some checks and cpu and again memory uh, or file system usage we do some checks every time if you do e uh, checks again 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 the code will uh, go uh, into more than 100 or more than 200 lines currently it's 57 lines okay we should reduce when we write script we should try to reduce the number of lines as soon as much as possible okay i hope uh, we have explained in a better way i will write um, i will be explaining more scripts in coming tutorials to in in using different other different functions like while or case or different this is the in this fun in this script we use uh, uh, we, we saw some variables we saw functions we saw how uh, for loop and if check if statement and some printing formats and all now let's copy this to our our server i'm writing a script uh, my first script dot sh i'm just pasting it okay now let's execute uh, this is this is a script which is not in executable format first of all when we execute uh, this we need to change the permission Ex it, we need to make it executable sorry okay I'm making it. okay now it is executable and it is in green sign now let's execute our script sorry my first script okay this is this is our report so what it is doing is report begins here and first it is checking we have only local host what we need to declare it in the term host right so we have declared only local host so it is checking only local host you can if you need if you need to add more uh, host you can add you can append this file with your host names or ip address okay and for local host this is the result check root root of us which is okay check mem is okay check this is the color what we declared in echo if you remember here we sorry we we have this these lines right this is to create a color format you can use that that will be useful okay 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 and the report ends here and this is the this is my custom message thanks for watching this video please click the subscribe button for more videos 
okay uh, one more thing i would like to uh, tell you is okay i will uh, share the link this uh, repository url in the description so that you can just go through this uh, script and uh, try by yourself okay guys thanks for watching have a great day bye bye